everybody, your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. Your boy Bongo's back in the kitchen, baby! Here, 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 here! Here. That's right, we are back in the kitchen. That means we are doing another banger DIY today. So that means that I have none other than my main man, Chad with the J behind the camera. Chad, where you at, baby? Actually, it's a DIY. Yeah. Not so giant this time. Today, we are making everyone's favorite fries. We are talking about none other than McDonald's fries, baby. These guys have a classic, very distinct taste. Everybody knows what these guys taste like. If you haven't tried McDonald's fries, congratulations. You played yourself. So today, we are trying to recreate McDonald's fries. We are in the kitchen. We got our potatoes. We got our oil. We got all the fancy knives. So we are ready to start this video. But before we get today's video started, go down, smash that thumbs up button for this banger DIY. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go down and subscribe and comment down a DIY that you would like to see in the future. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. So the first step in making your DIY McDonald's fries. Yeah, by the way, these things are delicious. Yo, run your boy. Yeah, let's <laughs> grab some of these. Mm. Obviously, step one in the DIY is to get some real potatoes. So I just went to your local grocery store, caught some potatoes. We're going to open this bad boy up, and we are going to take a couple potatoes out of this guy. Let's go for the big ones here. Let's look for some nice and big ones. This one can go on. This one can stick. <laughs> this one can... Come back. Yo, why is this a potato the shape of David's head? No, 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 no. So the first step, guys, is obviously to peel your potato. So what you guys want to do here is get a potato peeler and start peeling up some potatoes. You want to take the very thin layer of skin that is on the potato and make that guy disappear just like so. So boom, here goes our first potato. Now that guy can sit in our bowl. Bro, how do you know how to peel a potato so quick? Yeah, yeah, watch this. Boom. Bam. Look at this. Boom. I want to time that. Boom, boom. It's just about nice, quick strokes. You know those ones? You're Boy Bong is the baker's man. Oh, I'm the baker's man. Skin. I spent a lot of time in the kitchen, therefore I've learned nice easy tricks Sheesh. when you get to the top. So here's our second potato. Boom. Here's a trick for you. Here, Jado. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna try to peel oh, the wait. potato. Are you gonna do the one shot? In one shot. Ooh, I do these with my oranges all the time. The one peel. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. We're making progress. Guys, you think he will do it? Yes or no? I'm gonna go with. We gotta yes. come back. We gotta come oh. back. Yeah, because we missed the spot. Oh, here we go, baby. Here we go. Okay. Now we're gonna take it up top, curve it. One more curve. Yeah. Here. So I'm gonna finish peeling these potatoes and then we'll be back to cut them into shoestring fries like the real McDonald's ones here. Alrighty guys, so we have peeled our potatoes. As you can see, I have nice five bald potatoes. We are ready to start slicing and dicing. No, you know, we're gonna hold back on the dicing, but a lot of slicing of the potatoes to give them that executive McDonald's vibe. We're trying to recreate them as best as possible. So I went into oh. my mom's kitchen as usual, and she has this fancy machine. I think it's called a mandolin. Now, what you guys wanna do is it has two pieces to it, all right? You see how it has this nice slice vibe over here? Then it has this to keep it straight, and then this guy is what you use to grab your potato with. So you want to put your potato in this guy, give it a nice little slice, and then watch this, guys. With ease, we can use this, and boom. Ooh. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Now, we're taking slices of the potato off. When we take a look at these potatoes, Here. you'll see they're nice, thin slices, all right? So we want to save these guys, all right? We want to continue slicing our potato. Boom. Look at me. Baker's man. Huh? You want to get juked? Say less, fam. Say less. Here. And you will have a little small piece that will stick at the very end of it. So you guys want to take that guy off. Remove this, as you can see. Yeah. We can actually put our potato back together. Look at that. Potato vibes. Vibes. But it's also a deck of card Oz. Ooh. Here. Oh yeah, go fish. You have a big sliced potato? Go fish. <laughs> so what you guys want to do now is take some of your slices of your fries, line them up nice and gently, and guys, you want to take a very sharp knife. Please be careful if you guys are doing this at home. Be careful when using a knife. It is very, very sharp. You can cut your fingers. That's not a good look. So, bro, be this is a major key. This is the McDonald's shape, bro. Here we go. You this cannot is, flop. This is where we go, and now we want to julienne the fries, guys. Julienne. <laughs> yeah. Who is this guy? What is it, julienne, bro? So, That's my boy. His name. I'm gonna use a, the very small piece that came at the end, but essentially what a julienne guys is a very thin slice like so. Look at that. Boom. McDonald's Ooh. french fries. You see what I mean? Mm. <laughs> not, not quite the taste we're looking for quite yet, but we're almost there. So you guys want to take your fries. All right, show me the Michael, bro. And then you guys want to cut them into thin strips like so. Here, boom, boom, 
boom, boom, and maybe these ones can catch a quick vibe. Ooh, bro, this is a perfect McDonald's. You see what I mean, man. bro? Take a look. The befores and afters right here. Take a look at the before and after. I mean, this is as close as you're gonna get to a McDonald's, an, an uncooked McDonald's french fry. And this is a cooked one. Look at this. Same kind of vibe. No? Exact same vibes. Vibes. Almost there. All right, guys, so I'm gonna continue chopping up these potatoes to make them look like executive McDonald's fries. And then we will catch you guys when all the fries are nice and chopped. Cut it, 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 cut it. Cut it. Cut it. All right, you guys, as you can see, we have chopped up a bunch of McDonald's french fries. We got some short ones, we got some long ones, we got some mediocrely thick ones. We got a big variety back of all the french fries that we have in front of us. So what we want to do now, guys, is soak them in some water. But before we soak them in some water, what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of corn syrup to the water. Why do you ask? Because McDonald's actually adds a little bit of sugar to their french fries. That's what gives them that goldy brown vibe, all right? The sugar actually caramelizes a little bit, gives it that a little extra golden brown vibe. So what we want to do is we want to take our bowl, bring it over to our sink, and as you guys can tell, at the Elbow House, we are balling. So we have a normal tap and a tap that we can drink from, all right? It looks like a soap dispenser. Don't ever play yourself. If you're here, drink from this tap. So we're going to fill up our bowl to about halfway so we can soak up our fries. We're going to turn this guy off, bring it back to this side. So now we have a big bowl of water, a bunch of fries. Like I was saying before, we want to grab some corn syrup, all right? So what we're going to do is actually crack this guy open like so. Here, 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 here. And guys, not a lot of corn syrup in here. You actually just want to take this guy and droop a little bit in there like so. So I used about this much of a brand new bottle, all right? So you guys want to grab a whisk and stir your sugar water concoction. Now, I don't have a whisk, so I'm going to take a fork and easily just whisk like so. Guys, a fork is kind of, you know, perforated on the bottom or whatever that's called. It'll give you the same kind of effect vibe, except it's way more messy, all right? So be careful. You're going to splash a little bit of water here and there. Mix, mix, mix. Put that guy to the side. Now, what you guys want to do is grab these fries and just soak them in your water concoction. Now, again, guys, what that's going to do is it's going to add a little bit of sugar to your fries, but it's also going to take away a lot of the starch from the potato, and that's what's going to give it that crispy vibe when you do fry it. So we put all the potatoes into our bowl with some water. We're going to take this bowl and put it in the fridge for about half an hour, guys. In the fridge is where it's going to catch that nice vibe. So it's in there. It's literally chilling for half an hour, and we will catch up with it when it's it's ready to roll. Okay, so the potatoes have been in the fridge for about half an hour. We are ready to take those bad boys out and check up on what happened. So, here. You guys can't feel this, but the bowl is nice and cool, which means the potatoes are ready to be dried. So, we gotta take the jewels off, B. Make sure you take the jewels off because our hands are about to get dirty. So, we wanna take the french fries out of the water and we wanna put them on a bed of a paper towel like so, all right? We wanna dry the water. We're gonna take the excess water out of the potatoes so boom, boom bro. I'm boom. surprised you're not munching half of them right now. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna dry these potatoes up. Make sure they're nice and dry, guys, because if you have a little bit of water on your potatoes and you put them into hot oil, it's gonna spray everywhere. So you want to make sure they are as dry as possible. So we're gonna pat these bad boys down, take them like this, give them another one, two legs. So. Hey, thank you, Jado. Here, 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 here. So we are now ready to give these guys an initial fry, all right? We are actually gonna be frying these guys twice. The first time is just gonna give them a little brownish vibe, and then we're gonna fry them again at a higher temperature to give them that extra golden vibe. So we're gonna put these guys on the side here, right beside our pot of oil. Now, we are looking out for our temperature. I think right now we're about 320. We wanna bring it up to 375 to give them that initial cook that we need to make them executive McDonald's fries. Fries vibes. So we are gonna wait for that to hit 375, but in Bongo's kitchen, organization and efficiency, we got some burgers. All right, now I think you guys are wondering, Bongo, you're making fries, why do you need the burgers? At McDonald's, they have a bunch of additives that they add to their oils and their fries to give them that exclusive, vibrant McDonald's crunch, that delicious McDonald's taste. So they put in a number of different ingredients into their oil, but to recreate that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry up a couple burgers and actually use the burger grease. We're gonna take the grease from the burgers, put it in the oil, and then we're gonna fry them a second time with a different oil blend. So here we go, we're gonna open up some burgers. All right, now this is just gonna be a classic. We're gonna slap some frozen burgers into a pan here. Here. And we're just gonna plop on as many burgers as we can fit into this large pan, which I think is four. Here, four nice big dusty burgers. 
So we're just gonna leave that. We're not gonna add any oil, guys. We're gonna let them cook by themselves and we're gonna collect the burger grease so that we can add it to our original oil. But let's take a look at the temperature. We are almost at 375, guys. We're gonna give this guy a couple more minutes and then we are ready to get going on frying our DIY. Giant, wait, not giant. Not so giant. McDonald's french fries. <laughs> All right, guys, so our oil has hit 375. We are ready to give these guys an initial cook but we don't want to keep these guys in for too too long all right essentially what we're looking for is about 60 to 90 seconds here we want to see a very very light golden brown so here we go with the initial one Ooh. okay that's a big vibe oh beautiful now let's add some more fries in there here and maybe a little bit oh oh we don't want that. All right guys, so don't put a lot of fries at a time. Like I said, we only want to give these guys about 60 seconds. The temperature is perfect, so we can actually take this guy out and put this guy to the side. So like I said guys, it is a quick fry. It's been about a minute. As you guys can see, they have a light golden vibe to them. So we actually just want to put them on the side once they have a very light golden vibe. So here, take these guys out, put them on the side, and let these guys chill out for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're actually just going to put these guys back in the fridge. So here, 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 boom, perfect. Now we're gonna finish up with the rest of the fries here. Yo, those look delicious, bro. Bro, those are just the initial fry vibes. So guys, we are gonna take the rest of the fries and we are gonna put them in slowly. Boom, just like so. Take the rest, put them in here. We're gonna give them a quick fry. We're gonna give them, again, a quick 60 second fry and then these guys can join the rest of our fries in the chill section. So here, we're gonna take these fries and we're just gonna dump them in here like so. Here, here. Here, boom, perfect. All the fries are in the oil now, guys. Another 60 seconds, and we're actually just gonna transfer these guys onto a flat tray, and we're gonna space them out a little bit. Here, here, here. We're just gonna space these guys out a little bit so that they can soak in the paper towel. Here. Now, these guys should almost be done again. It's been about 30 seconds, so we'll give them a little bit more time. And as soon as these guys are ready, we can take them out and they can join their friends on the tray. All right, guys, so it's been about 90 seconds as well. As you can see, this, this one turned out to be a pretty big vibe. We're just going to give it a little bit more so that they can turn a little bit more golden brown. But as soon as that's done, as you guys can see, look at that light gold that's coming out here. So we're going to put these guys on the side as well. Here, 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 here. All right, we're just going to take the rest out of these guys out. And we're going to add them to the other fries. Boom. So one once these fries are done with their initial cook, what we can now do is take these guys and put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes. That will give enough time for the burgers to fully cook up. So organization and efficiency, we're gonna pop this guy in like so. Here. And close that guy up for 10 minutes. Like I said, this is gonna give us enough time to cook these guys up. And then we are ready for our final fry of our DIY McDonald's french fries. All right guys, as you guys can see, the burgers are well complete and we have a bunch of burger grease that we could use. So we can take these burgers out and put them on the side again guys somebody could eat these burgers so make sure you save them don't waste any food here here take these guys out and now we have some burger grease so what we want to do we want to put this to the side I'm gonna use Jad to help me out so Jad's gonna hold the pan he's gonna slowly pour the grease into this oil we're gonna strain to make sure that none of the burger stuff gets into the main oil so here we go Jado hit me nice and slow here 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 nice and easy boom 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 oh look at that look at that burger grease in there boom all right cool so now that we have the burger grease in the oil we're gonna give this guy a little bit of time to warm up to 400 degrees by that time our fries will be ready out of the fridge and we can give these guys a final cook up to get our DIY not so giant McDonald's fries game here. All right, so our potatoes have been in the fridge for 10 minutes. We can take these bad boys out. As you guys can see, they should be greased up and ready to go. All right, so what we want to do now is take this portion of the fries, all right, and slowly we can go. Yeah, thank you, Jado. Here, here. All right, get those extra ones out. A bit of teamwork to make the dream work. That's it. So we want to give these guys five to six minutes to fry till they're extremely golden brown and ready to go. But while that's going, obviously you guys got to grab your salt because what are McDonald's flies without some salt, baby? So go into our pantry. Here. So guys, we're going to give these guys five minutes to cook up. Then we're going to sprinkle some salt on them. And then we are ready for our favorite part of the video, the taste test time. All right, guys. So we have left these fries to cook for about five to six minutes. As you guys can see, they have reached a nice golden brown so what we want to do is we want to grab as many fries as possible here and let them strain out here 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 here, here, here. use that shake and bake technique and into a stainless steel bowl all right so here grab the rest of those guys here 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 into the stainless steel bowl and maybe just grab that last little guy in here 
here. All right, now what we wanna do is right away, guys, while they're hot, we wanna add some salt to this. And you guys know McDonald's goes off with their salt. And what we wanna do now is just give them a nice little stir. Here, 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 here. Boom, there's our first set of McDonald's fries. So we're gonna let these guys cool off on the side. We're gonna finish up the rest of our batch. This should come off way better than the last time. Here, here, and there, boom. So we're gonna finish cooking up the rest of these fries. Here we go, as you can see, guys, these are doing fantastic. So we'll give these guys another five to six minutes. These guys will cool down, and then we are ready to taste test our DIY McDonald's fries. Smash that like button. All right, guys, as you can see, we have reached a nice golden brown. So we are ready to take these bad boys out. Ooh, oh, that was like all of them at once. That was like a really nice Bro, food. that's golden brown. Let these guys drain out us into our stainless steel bowl. All right, last scoop, and we'll get this burnt one. You know how you always get a burnt one at McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not authentic unless you have a burnt one. Yeah, so. you, need, you need that McDonald's bad. We left all that vibes. little one in there. So, boom, perfect. Guys, salt. Heat up, salt it up. All right, so here we go. We're gonna give these guys a little bit of a mix. Now we can bring them over here. Oh my God. Taste it while it's hot, bro. Oh, Taste shit. it while it's hot. Mm. Oh, oh my God. God. These are amazing. So what we are gonna do, guys. Hey, Dustin's here. Here. Sean is in the other room. He has no idea what these McDonald's fries taste like. So, I'm, oh my God. These are a banger. I highly recommend these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some fries in this McDonald's. Wait, wait. I gotta try one first. Wow. <laughs> Those are actually fire. Those are good, mm -hmm. eh? Let's see them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Suey approved. This is how you know, bro. Put them all the way to the top, all the way to the top. I know it's not real, McDonald's never fills it up, but just fill it up here. There we go, all the way to the top. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Look at that bad boy. It actually looks like real McDonald's fries. Honestly, take a look at that. It's a vibe. All right, so like I said, Sean's in the other room. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these McDonald's fries to him because honestly, they taste very, very, very similar to the McDonald's ones, very similar. So we're gonna take it to the room. We're gonna see if we can fool Sean to trick him to see if these are actually McDonald's fries. We'll see what, we'll see what kind of reaction we get. Sean, yeah. Probably wondering why I brought a box of McDonald's fries for you. This is not a prank. I just want you to taste them. That's it, that's it's all. It's not I'm... a prank? No, not a prank. By the way, you should be thanking me for wearing your shirt. By the way, I... it's your boy merch coming soon. Coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. Are these for, these are mid gaming snacks, right? Yeah, just McDonald's fries. I, I asked for extra salt. Why are you it. filming me eat McDonald's fries? Because if you ask for extra salt, they make a brand new batch. Do they taste fresh? They are fresh? Yeah, how'd you get them here so fast? I actually just cut, came back. Oh. So, Verita? Can you run me some, by the way? Maybe. Guys, just. I made these. No, you didn't. I just made them. You just bought them. No, you just told me you just bought them. I literally just made them. They're, how? You gotta watch the vid. What? <laughs> no, you didn't. I just made them. You didn't make these. Ask Jazz, that. did he make them? No. See? Jazz a liar. No, you didn't make them. I literally just made them. Bro, these are McDonald's fries. Bro, I seen you go to McDonald's when I was in the bathroom. Oh, I've done fry yeah. taste tests. Like, we did do a DIY. Did we did a DIY together. Yeah. Like, we did do it. But, yeah, like, when I went to the bathroom, like he went and bought them. French fry or something? No, no. I made these. And you're, are you, like, taking these? And then making a giant McDonald's french fry? No, no, I made these fries that you're munching right now. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yeah, he I actually did. You. you did. No, he didn't. Actually? Well, they taste like it, eh? What do you mean? I just was kind of confused as to why you brought me McDonald's fries. It's, I mean, I'm down, but... Here you go. You can have the rest of these. The whole thing? The whole thing. They're no. all yours. I made them. So, I'm the one that says... So, wait, wait, wait. They're all yours. Well, I'm speechless. D So giant, not so giant, but it's very delicious. DIY delicious. McDonald's French fries. fries. I'm here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go down, smash that thumbs up button. I had a blast making these DIY McDonald's fries. Honestly, look at that McDonald's fries game. All right, I made these. This is a vibe. It's a big vibe. Huge shout out to my main man behind the camera, Chad with a J. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. He is on the road too. One million subscribers, Yay! guys. Come to my channel, help me get to one million. If I'm there, if I already hit it by the time you get there, don't worry, just still subscribe, right? I love you. Also guys, help me reach 500,000 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you go down, subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment of a future DIY you would like to see me do. Huge shout out to my friends for joining me on today's video as well. Shout out to Dustin for Shout out to Sean for taste testing. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And until next time, peace.